Hi, today I'm going to show you a new little tool that makes it really easy to prepare text for Cricut Design Space. A lot of you have heard me recommend setting your text outside of Design Space so that it is easier to work with and looks better, but this hasn't really been a straightforward process before, but this tool that I'm going to show you is going to really help with that. The main problem we have with text in Cricut Design Space, the number one problem, is the spacing issue. The designer spends a lot of time getting the spacing of a font just right, but when you bring it into Design Space, it's treated like any other cut shape. Spacing data is thrown out and replaced with these unsightly gaps. Now, they're wrong for every font, but they're especially bad for the cursive fonts because you have to spend so much time getting them put together just right. That's why it's often a lot easier to work in another program. And the more text you have, the more sense it makes to work outside of Design Space. So the tool that I want you to download, it's free, is from FontLab, and it's called FontLab Pad, and I'll put the link in the description of the video. But you go to the FontLab site, find the FontLab Pad page, and then you either download your free Mac version or your free Windows version and install it, which I have already done. And it's very simple interface. There's really not much to it because this doesn't do much, but it does exactly what we need. The first font I want to show you is one of my favorites, Love Underia. You go, you go up here and you can open installed fonts. You use the find tool and you, and then you start typing your font. And one of the things you may notice while I type is that the letters change when I put the next letter in. You'll see that if I don't have the Y, the A has this loop. When I type the Y, the loop goes away. This is because open type fonts can have what are called contextual alternates, meaning they change based on their context, where they are in the word, or what letters they are next to. This makes a very beautiful layout, again, using what the designer spent a lot of time on. But we don't have access to this when we use Cricut Design Space. If we look at a, another font, one of my favorites, Cantoni Bold. This also has a couple of contextual al alternates, but what I want to show you with this one is that we can also use this with our font book or with our character map to bring in the, the special characters. So if I go to font book, and I find Cantoni, and let's say I want to use this S. I'm going to copy that, and then I can paste that in, and now I have the special characters in, in there and the contextual alternates, and all that is ready to go to Design Space. So let me go through the whole process here. I'm going to go Save As. I'm going to click SVG from this list here, and then I'm going to save it go back to Design Space, Upload Images, Upload Image, Browse. That was saved to my desktop. It would be the first one on here. So I will choose that, tell it to save, and bring it into my document. The only thing we need to do at this point is we need to weld because these letters are connecting and have some overlaps, so we want to weld that. All I have to do is with it selected, click Weld. And now you'll see the outline change to the Cricut Design Space look with the black outline where the cut lines are going to be. But if you compare these two, you can see how much more beautiful the text is with so little work. The one that I did before for the Lavenderia, you can compare that and see how much more beautiful this looks. You've got this nice loopy Y that you didn't have here and this loop on the R. So all these things let you use the all the stuff that the designer built into the font for you to use is now available to you and it's quick and easy to make an SVG like I said the only thing you need to remember is to weld once you get it in and this gives you the full vector quality as opposed to taking a screenshot from another program it's a little bit quicker than using Microsoft Word because you don't have to go through PDF then SVG and for those of you who are Inkscape averse, it avoids Inkscape altogether with a nice, neat, little, simple, not scary application. Okay, so let me show you one more trick that is really cool. You do not have to have the font installed. This is a font I just downloaded from littlebigcrafter.com called Zephira. 
So I can just drag and drop that on and now I can start typing. You can see this also has the contextual al alternates. I did not have to install that and I can make an SVG really quickly. There are a couple of things that you can change on this. You can change the line spacing, you can change the character spacing to make it take up more or less room. You can change the color here. That's not really important because you can always change the color once you get it into design space. So this has some big advantages. Being able to use a font that's not installed, being able to use the designer spacing, being able to use the contextual alternates, being able to use special characters that you would bring in from font book or character map. Font lab pad is quick easy, simple to use, and free. Works great with Design Space, so I hope you'll enjoy it. And if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also visit mycleversomeday.com blog. Thanks again for watching.